live from beautiful Duke University where your Arkansas Razorbacks are taking on the St. John's Red Storm in the second round of the NCAA tournament. <laughs> Surreal, actually. Um, it was kind of like, whoa, it went in. Uh, we didn't really celebrate much. Um, but I mean, it was just a hard work all around on the ball and then happened to be in the right place at the right time and just do my job, put it on frame as best I can. It's pretty typical of us. I mean, it was a team effort. We played a lot of people. And obviously, we put a focus. They got a pretty special kid up front. and We put a pretty strong focus on, on her. We, we limited her two shots and no goals. Um, so overall, I thought it was, I mean, it was good. That's just who we are, I guess. We don't um, rely on one person. Um, it's a whole team, and uh, I think it works out to our benefit. We had some people, um, you know, who, for whatever reason, were maybe a touch off. But we used a lot of people. We should be fresh for Sunday. Um, you know, tonight, we always say, enjoy tonight. I mean, we're in the Sweet 16. There's 16 teams left in the country playing. We told the girls, that's a big deal. You know, no, no matter, you know, 330 teams in the NCAA. <laughs> You know, so enjoy it tonight. Ice bath, take care of your bodies. You know, and then we'll prepare a little bit on Saturday. A one to nothing win for the Razorbacks. They keep rolling. They head on to the third round of the NCAA tournament. What a journey. What a run for this Razorback team. Yay, Razorbacks! A pair of the last 16 teams in the nation still playing postseason soccer are your Arkansas Razorbacks and the Duke Blue Devils. They'll face off today in the third round of the NCAA tournament, the first time ever these two sides have met. Unbelievable! The freshman has been lights out in this game here today. Several incredible saves. Unbelievable what she's been doing for this Razorback team. Arkansas goal score by number 23, Ashley Eleanor. It is great. I mean, it's they fight and they battle and they leave the result up to you know just just to the end and. Um, you know, you obviously couldn't be more proud. So we have great leadership, um, you know, some young players stepping up late. You know, it's just a team where anyone at any moment could step up and win the game for us. Just fight. I mean, it's not the prettiest. Like I said, we're not going to get a lot of style points, but they fight and they battle for 90 minutes or 110 or however long it takes. You know, and of course, the one game we have overtime that doesn't get decided goes to penalties. First for Duke, number 24, Molly Patrick. Yeah! Go! 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 Rachel! Go! Go! Ladies and gentlemen, Duke has won the contest with a 5-3 victory in penalty kicks. I mean, what a great game. I mean, obviously it sucks to lose. You know, PKs is a brutal way to to end the game that it was that good. I mean, Duke had some chances, Cam made some great saves. I mean, we had two goals called back from offsides. I mean, it was just an exciting game and that's exactly right, it was us. Fought down, you know, fed back twice. Um, you know, that's just, that's just how this team does it.